Let the sunshine take us back. Hey, look, we're at the three broomsticks. That's not what's significant. What is significant is we're actually at the three broomsticks in Hollywood. And we're going to have something that I've wanted to do in Florida forever, but I've never actually gotten to. And that is the Great Feast. We're going big or going home out in California. Let's do it. That is what we will be consuming here today. The Great Feast. You can't see it very well, but we'll show you a close up when we get there. $64, but we're splitting between three of us so I think we can handle it. I'm ready to feast. There it is, everybody. The Great Feast. That's not even all. You also get a salad on top of all that. That's a lot of food. Guys, are you ready to take this challenge down? The Great Feast challenge? Oh, yeah. Corey, are you hungry? All right. Well, we're doing it. All right. So this is the first course of our Great Feast, the salad. So Corey and Shelby are going to try it out, see how they like it. Apparently, it's a hot salad, which is kind of odd. Usually salad's supposed to be cool. Corey, Corey, you want yours? Oh, ah, ah. Your reputation as a salad you know, <laughs> no, server no is not great. Yeah, it's fine. No career in this. <laughs> oh, I guess we don't you have forks. So we better go get those, I guess. So, while we're waiting for the great feast, I'm going to eat dessert first because I'm a rebel and that's how I am. So what I got is butterbeer potted cream. Why I got this is A, it sounds good, and B, it's another kind of butterbeer. I have had almost every kind of butterbeer that exists. I have not had this, so I'm going to try it. And it comes in this really cool little, like, cup thing. I'm pretty sure we can keep it, so I plan on it. I'm going to try this out, see how it is. Looks like it's got, like, a layer of honey on it. Looks interesting. Look at that. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Okay. Bottoms up. So it's basically butterbeer pudding. It's really tasty. Um, it does have the extra little sweetness that you get from actual butterbeer, not from like a like a butterscotch flavor. Um, and that definitely is honey that's on the top level. It's pretty solid though. I actually like it. It's a good little dessert to give this cool little keepsake that you can use for probably multiple things. So I'm gonna have a little bit more. I'm a fan, so this is a good uh, good dessert offering here at the Three Broomsticks and um, Hogsmeade here in Hollywood. Good times. Go ahead. I'm trying salad. He's trying the salad. Trying First the course of the, the Great Feast. Oh, look at all that. Oh, okay. We'll go get those then. So we gotta go get our plates and stuff. Huh? Oh, under the salad. They said it's there already. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, there we go. That's cool. Anyway, Shelby, go ahead and try your your salad, and then we're gonna dig into that because that looks amazing. Corey, did you actually say what your thoughts were on the salad? No. Go ahead. What are your thoughts on the salad? It's salad. <laughs> Thank but, you. <laughs> I mean, like, it's there's nothing really like spectacular about it. It's, it's you get a good hefty amount, as you can see from that bowl. But yeah, like, uh, I think it's a vinaigrette type dressing on it, and uh, it's pretty good. But other than that, yeah, it's just plain old salad. It's something like um, to really write home about for for the great. Okay. I think the main event is going to be the main course. Which we just got and we cannot wait to dig into. Shelby, try your salad. Let's see how it is. Very good. It's a house salad with like an Italian vinaigrette, tomatoes, a few onions, croutons. It looks pretty fresh, not too dark. So, pretty solid salad. Love it. Excellent. Now, I'm gonna run and get us some forks and we're gonna dish this stuff out, because yummy. There's my plate of all the fixings from the Great Feast. Piece of corn, some nice potatoes, some chicken, and some ribs. I can't wait to dig into this thing, so let's not waste any more time. Right, so, how we're gonna do this, because there are so many items and there are so many of us, is rather than having 
each of us try each thing and share our thoughts. We're each gonna pick one thing and then we'll share our thoughts at the end. So I am having the chicken, which is an herb lemon chicken. Looks really good. Uh, let's give it a shot, bottoms up. Very good. It's got, it tastes like a really nice rotisserie chicken. It falls off the bone. Um, the lemon is there, it's not like super strong, but you really taste the herbs in the, uh, the outer skin of the chicken. It's just a very solid rotisserie chicken, so definite thumbs up for me on the chicken. Yeah. All right, so I'm trying the potatoes. Um, I said it like uh, amazing. It's not like a lot of flavor to it, but it's uh, like, like I guess it's well roasted. But yeah, the, the potatoes are they're decent. I, I wouldn't say that they're amazing or anything like that. But yeah, I wish that wish they were like a little more seasoned and there was a little, uh, a little more flavor to them. But other than that, yeah, they're, they're fine. Good. Okay, I'm trying the ribs. Let's see how they are. They look good. Very, very soft. Did you, I think you literally just pulled the bone out of that one. Very tender. We can use a little more time roasting, maybe a little bit more seasoning. But all in all, they're pretty good. For a theme park, they're really good ribs. Excellent. All right, so we just finished our great feast. As you can see, we, we did a pretty good job on it. So overall, I would say I'm not that impressed. It was okay. Um, the only thing that really had a lot of flavor was the chicken. But like the rest, it was kind of bland. The corn tasted weird. We didn't try that on camera, but the corn had kind of a weird taste to it. I wasn't a huge fan of it. Potatoes were bland. The ribs needed some flavoring. They were tender, but bland. The chicken was the only thing that really had some good flavor to it. So, and especially for the cost, and considering how many other amazing places there are around here, I would say it's not worth the $71 that we paid for it. Uh, Corey or, and uh, Shelby, what are you guys' thoughts? We'll start with Shelby. Well, it was good. I mean, it's a lot of food. It's very filling. It's intended for more people. But for the cost, I mean... It's about a two out of five. It's the chicken it was the only thing that really had flavor. The corn, as per se, has a very strange taste to it. It doesn't taste like corn dog. And the ribs, the ribs were good, but they were kind of gummy, you know, kind of sticky. A lot of fat. A lot of fat. Awful lot of fat. But the salad was good, so at least we're full until dinner. Yep. Or until we go to our next place, which yes. we're going to another place, but at least one more before at we go to one. dinner. Corey, let him have it. What do you got? Uh, well, I wouldn't want to say that. It's okay. I thought it was very, 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 but it's just kind of like, for what you're paying for, so like, like you said, it's $71. And we, we are getting a lot of food. And if it was like really good, well-seasoned food, it would probably be like one of the best things ever. But because of the fact that, like, yes, like, everything that's put together uh, and everything like that, it sounds like, a good idea on paper, but it just wasn't delivered for the world. And maybe it was just with this platter in particular. Maybe maybe we just got a bad end of the deal, but it's honestly because of that, I, I probably won't 
try it again and put myself or anybody else at risk at doing it. And not to say that it was a horrible meal. It was, it was okay. just that it was fine. It was I mean, very, very okay. Give me um, give me that seventy one dollars back and I'll go spend it at In and Out where I know I'm gonna get amazing food and yeah. way more of it. So Yeah, so especially we came here and we had like really great food beforehand for cheaper. And so to come and then spend like, you know, between us probably about, you know, three uh, uh, 20, 23 bucks to be at the end like really disappointed. Like like Chris pointed out, the chicken had the most flavor. And it was put the best. Everything else was just kind of meh, you know. Like I said with the salad, I was just like, you know, it's, it's salad. Yeah. You know, it's, it's decent salad. Corn and the cob, it was fine. They didn't like it a lot. I didn't think it was that bad, but it, it wasn't great. Uh, the vegetables, the cooked vegetables, uh, they were they were decent too. But the, the potatoes, which looked really good, bland, completely bland, no flavor, anything like that. So I honestly wouldn't recommend it. Uh, for anybody, honestly. Yeah. Uh, they probably so give it like a, a two, you say a two out of five. I, mean, yeah, I would it, say a two and a half. I, I think I was a little more optimistic than everybody else, but I'd still say it wasn't that great. I'm, I'm giving it like a 1.5. I'm usually pretty, I think I'm usually the, the, the more optimistic. But for me, yeah, I, I'm, I'm giving it probably the lowest score of everybody. I'm probably giving it like a 1.5. That's because the chicken was, was pretty good. And also, my, my, my tastes are slightly a bit more altered because I'm really, really hungry right now. So, I'm still eating. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's, that's mainly my score. The gilly water is really good though. I like the water. Yeah, they gave us gilly water and we were disappointed by it. So. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this taste test adventure of the Great Feast here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Cogsmead in Universal Studios Hollywood. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me on Twitch. Both are at Big C TV. Follow me on social media, Facebook and Twitter at Big C TV Show. And if you want to help shape the future, come on Patreon, Patreon. We go to patreon.com slash Big C TV. And of course, check out the Thrill Seekers for all of our theme park exploits. We filmed a lot of stuff here that we're going to have to upload at a later time, including the entire Studio Backlot Tour and the Waterworld Stunt Show. Both of those will be available at a later time on the Thrill Seekers Show YouTube channel. Um, and we're going to go into more stuff, so we still got a lot more to do here at Universal Hollywood. So anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time on Taste Test Adventures as part of our California Dreaming Trip. Yay!